what's up everybody it's me river back again with another video here to give you my uh, opinions my feelings my thoughts on this entire conversation um this was actually sent to me in my dm a couple of times so please forgive me everybody it takes me a while to get through the messages um but i had some time to kind of like regroup in the past month so i have looked over a lot of you guys' messages and i'm going to be doing the content that you guys request i had a lot of requests for Kevin Samuels videos. So, you know, I'm not going to disappoint. Okay. I'm going to come back with what you're asking me for. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this video. And of course I want to do my usual start the video, play the video, and then give you guys what I think my, what I feel, um, and what I know. Okay. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The young lady that just joined down here in the corner. What's your name? The, uh, the uh, straight black hair. What's your name again? Delasia. Delasia. So why'd you join? Why'd you join? Well, you have a lot of opinions, and um, mm -hmm. females don't um, favor them. And I'm wondering, like, you know, a lot of females are wondering, I feel like, you know, what is your, like, goal? You know, what is your goal in doing well, all do I Do I have opinions or do I have facts? You claim to have facts. I claim to have facts. What does claim mean? Why are you gonna I'm claim facts? Getting this factual, like, where are you getting this evidence from? Like, how long have you been watching? You live on the earth. No, 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 hold on. I got it. I got it. I, I mean, if you watch me, I cite my sources. Have you ever bothered to take? Have you ever bothered to look at them yourself? By surveys or. Because you brought a, a young female up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do, hold on, just a second. Uh, go ahead, I'm listening. You brought a female up here the other day. Um, she had a degree and then you had posted her, um, what? No, no, no. Why did you <laughs> Because I... So before, before we let this young lady continue... She comes on, all right, and she's like, oh, you know, you have all these opinions and females aren't standing for it and blah, 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 blah. And here you have a lady who was on the panel literally defending him, right? So if you're speaking for all females, if you're speaking for all females who don't understand what his point is and why is he doing this, why are you even having these conversations? What do we need from you? What is it that you're providing for us as women? You have women on the panel that are looking at you like something is wrong with you. Like, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> are you not aware that men are speaking from their experiences of dating women? Like, are you are you the captain to come save everybody? Like, that's like the biggest question. It's like, are you the defender of all women? Because it seems like that's your MO when you're coming on and you're kind of like questioning where he's coming from. Another thing that I want to say really quick before we jump right back in is that I've heard this conversation a lot. Like a lot of people talk about the statistics and the numbers and where people get this from and how it's set up. You know, the system sets up these things and does these trials and, you know, it's not really an accurate de depiction of what's really going on. And that's fine, right? People have their own opinions, feelings, thoughts. But when it comes to everything else, right, we trust the numbers that we're given when it when it comes to um, all kinds of things, right? I, I, I don't even want to go into it. We trust the numbers that we're given. We trust the statistics. If they say there's a 54 chance of rain, we're going to say, you know what? It might rain today. You know, it, it, there's a very strong chance that it's going to rain. You know, it, it says 70% of rain. You're like, oh yeah, for sure. I need to check, um, you know, bring my umbrella. Why can you, and especially living somewhere like Florida, right? They say it's going to rain and sometimes it literally doesn't, but you're going based off of people who you are trusting when they do these studies to provide you with accurate information regardless, right? Regardless. But there's always people who try to fight, um, you know, and they don't have any facts. They're, they're not fighting based off of what they really genuinely know. They're only using their, their opinions and their feelings because 
not only do they fight stuff when it comes to, you know, how many black men are single and childless, how many men are providing the kids, how many this, how many that, like, not only these numbers do they fight, but we can also tell because they also fight like the BMI chart, right? What tells you that you're obese? What tells you that you're not obese? They always had, oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. That wasn't made for us instead of realizing that, oh, we've been tricked. We've been bamboozled to assume that it doesn't affect us. But then when we look at, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, all of these things, and we see them more in our culture, how can we still walk around talking that we're big boned? Right? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. So I, I find it interesting that she's like, trying to challenge this like right off the bat maybe she has her own statistics i don't know let's see what she says get them jumping in um, that's gonna really get confusing you brought her in um about her car sales you know the female what, what, what do you what what day are you talking about man what show are you talking about about two days ago and you posted it on your story No, what? No, I don't talk about. She had so, those business. So let shot her down all the way down. No, no, no. See, what we're going to do is see if we're going to have a conversation. I'm going to need some specificity because when you come in being in this disingenuous claim to have facts, how do you claim to have a fact? You brought something from 2018. Or uh, how do you claim? Okay, did you go to college? I've been in college. Yes, I couldn't did finish loans. Well, okay, regardless, you've gone to you've gone to public school, right? Yes. The textbooks you used weren't printed yesterday. No. So you use the facts that you have. Do you have better ones? I'm all ears. Just because... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. See, facts facts matter. See, we're going to have a conversation. We have to agree that there's some things that are just true. Facts and data matter. There's new, there's new knowledge learned every day. Then give me new data to... So then this is what you do. Intelligent people bring new data that's, that's been tested, peer-reviewed, to supplant the old one. But until then, you use the facts and data you have. So you went based off of... Uh, no, no, no. Is Ma'am, first of all, I don't know what you're talking about, but you say you have all these opinions. I have opinions just like anyone else. You've got opinions. But unlike what you're doing is I bring facts, data, statistics, things you can go look up yourself. You had one proof of evidence. Is what I saw. You you had one proof of it. I have one proof of it, ma'am. Excuse the, me. The female. No, 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 ma'am. First of all, I've been doing this for too long to have one proof of evidence. And if I had one proof of evidence, tell me what you're talking about. First off, let's get to that point because you can't keep talking about this vague story. Tell me what it is you think you saw. About the female. Please tell us because we have no idea. We have no idea what's going on. Okay? Literally no idea. Only you know what you're talking about. Career, you you gave a uh, win two days ago. It was about two days ago. Two days ago on what Instagram, YouTube, what? Yes, Instagram. It was a light skinned female talking about her car sales business. She owned a rental car. Business. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, I sure did. You mean the woman who? You mean the woman who agreed with me? Yeah, she agreed with you at the end because because I was right. No. Well, okay, what was I wrong about? She'd been in business for one year. Hold on a second. Where's the woman that he was talking to? Where is she? And if the woman agreed with him, why are you here? Why? I, I'm, I'm bamboozled. What was I wrong about? Because it was one year does not mean that she's done so much in one year. She's that a doesn't, a lot. So what? What is the what does the data still show? Excuse me. It doesn't matter what she's done. What was the fact that I put out there? What percentage of small businesses fail inside of the first five years? That's nice. But what about... No, no, no. You don't, we don't do that. 
See, this is where you ladies who think like you and your little attitude, you can have all the sass you want, but it doesn't change the fact that you live in the real world. And one of the problems in our community is black women, especially young black women, think because you can be loud, sassy, and wrong, it matters. I was loud. Loud. Let me tell you something that I'm seeing, okay, from the viewer's perspective. This, when I see this young lady talk, this is the lady, the, the young lady, your friend, your homegirl, that when you have an issue in your relationship, she is the first to tell you, you don't need him. What is he doing for you? Why are you doing all this stuff for him? Why doesn't he go above and beyond for you? You're the one that matters the most. You're the prize in the relationship. AKA the woman that assists in making you single. The girl that brings you, you know, all the problems whenever you go to her, which you shouldn't in the first place, whenever you go to her, she has a list of all the wrongdoings that every man has ever done to her and that your man has done to you and will constantly make you feel like an idiot for staying in a situation with a good man because of her own preconceived notions that she has in her own mind. It's very evident that she's this type of woman. And also, she is the queen of deflecting, deflection. He's talking about something. He said loud, sassy. Um, you think that because you're loud and sassy and one of the things that he says, that makes you right. And she's like, oh, so I'm loud. You know he's not talking about you being loud, but you are being sassy. You are being argumentative. You are trying to downplay him and act like you have the upper hand. You're literally competing with this man on his own page to show why you know more than he does and, you know, what is he doing? It, it's, this is insane to me. This is insane. Sassy, sarcastic, whatever. Man, if you don't like the data, what do you want me to do about it? But that woman agreed. But if you got a problem with it, why don't you go tell her? Because she agreed. Have faith in her. <laughs> Have like, faith, I Faith, me, ma'am. Faith, me, and faith in what? What did she want? What did she want, man? Let's start here. Let's start here. What did that woman want? What did she want? What did she say her desire was? She wanted to be independent, and she also wanted to have a husband and kids. In what order? Um. What was her ultimate desire? Now, how about this? What was her ultimate desire? Her ultimate desire was mm -hmm. a family. She wanted that. Right, right. Her ultimate desire was to have a family. So she came on to social media and talked to someone that she felt like can assist her in that goal, who happens to be a man. Right, and can tell her from the male's perspective what it is that she might be lacking, need to do, need to change about her situation so that she can get the results that she's wanting. She does not need this man to sit in her face on social media and tell her what she wants to hear. She does not need a woman coming on telling her the same things that's been keeping her single because. This young lady is saying she wanted to be independent and have a husband. That doesn't make sense. That's like, it's opposites. Because we know in this day and age, independence is I don't need a man. I could do bad all by myself. I'm this and I'm that. When you have that mentality, there's no room for the man. There's no room for marriage. There's no room for children. There's no room for none of that. Because everybody's supposed to float your own boat. Right. And what did she come up, what conclusion did she come up with after I put things in a way that made her think about things? What did she say? I mean, I don't recall what her solution She said, thank was. you. What was her solution, though? Go back and watch the video. See, you, see here's the point, people. You come, no, ma'am, no, no, ma'am. You came in here with that same old song of dance. Have 
informed, not knowing what you're talking about, going off of what you thought I said and how it made you feel. And the woman I talked to was grateful. Mm. The woman I talked to said, thank you. Mm. So why do you have a problem and she doesn't? I couldn't be more grateful, but I... No, no, no. Why do you have a problem with that conversation when she doesn't? Because I asked her a question that she hadn't thought about things that she had. That woman had a rental car business. And let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Since you want to do this, let's do this. Because I don't just talk out the side of my neck. I talked to that woman about what percentage of small businesses fail in the first five years, by the way. Do you have that number? No. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea? You can pull it up. Go ahead. No, you can pull it up. You can pull it up. I'm asking you. See, I already know these things, and these things matter. Yes, bring the facts, mm-hmm. please. No, 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 but I'm asking you because that's what adults do. Right. What, what do you, there is a number in this country. If you're going to start a business, you're going to invest your time, effort, and your... What, in what, in what space do we live in, right? And this is going to, I know this is going to come off like, oh, you know, she's always defending the man. And the, but in what world do we live in that you can come on to someone else's... Channel, right he's obviously he's allowing people to come up who agree with him disagree with him like whatever feelings opinions all that that you want to bring provide he's willing to have the conversation but how are you let's let's take let's take everything else out of it how are how is it that we've come so far that this young lady is having a conversation with a man who is older than her well older than her right experienced in life, in situations, in relationships, like, seeing a lot of things, okay? And you're telling him, oh, yeah, you could look it up. Oh, yeah, you could do it. Like, where's the respect, first of all? Obviously, she has none, okay? Let's just be real. And this is not, I'm I'm not necessarily going directly towards her because I don't know her, but I'm using this as a talking point because she's the one that's having the conversation and she's the one that's, exuding certain behavior but where is that where's that like respect like you know like respect your elders like you know like respecting the people that have come before you respecting people who um you know just have wisdom where has that like how have we gotten to this place that she can just freely like just run off of her mouth and just oh yeah you could look it up Uh uh-huh no you could do that yeah let me challenge you Like, is there any shame at all? Is there anything in you saying that maybe I shouldn't be doing this or talking to this man like this? Probably not. But there should be. There should be. It's very distasteful. It's very distasteful. And and this is very telling of the person that she is when she gets into a relationship. Everything, if she gets into a relationship, I have to say, because a lot of these women... You'll say, I don't even want no man. So speak for yourself, but I don't even need a man. But what makes you feel so arrogant enough that you are the one that has to run everything around you and put people in their place when the person said thank you, when the person is going to take the advice that she was given and apply that to her life? But here comes you. Honey. Don't you think you need to know the likelihood of it being successful? Or do you just take your money and just throw it anywhere and hope it works? But what does the number have to no, do? Ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You don't answer a question with a question. I'll answer your question, but you answer mine first. Go ahead and ask. Don't you think... No, no. You haven't... An- do you think you should know the percent, the likelihood of a business being successful before you risk? Mm-hmm. I think you should come up with a plan. A plan based on what? Based on whatever you've learned, whatever you went to school for. And one of the things you learn is how likely a venture is to succeed. I mean... That's nice, but what about yourself? It's not nice, ma'am. No, ma'am, it's not nice. It's reality. I'm I not taking a step back. I'm not trying to be insulting, but do you, were you raised with your mom and your dad? Good question. I was raised with my mother. 
that okay. I it, it's so interesting that he asked that question because I genuinely was thinking, you know, it's so interesting because a lot of women that call Kevin because people just on people, oh, we can't stand Kevin. Oh, cancel Kevin. He doesn't have people, women, continuously calling for no reason. Okay, so somebody's lying. Some people act like all women hate him. Somebody's obviously lying. Okay, clearly. But I was going to say that a lot of women that call in, it's because they don't have that masculine energy around them. They didn't see that as maybe a child. And then in their adult life, they don't have someone that they can lean on and ask these questions because men are structured beings. They're standard, right? They're going to tell you what this is, what that is. They're going to do the research. They're going to do the data. They're going to tell you the likelihood of something succeeding or not succeeding. Like They're going to go ahead and figure out that whole scenario, right, with their logical thinking brains and tell you in which way you should move. That's a privilege to be able to to be around somebody that has that kind of knowledge. But a lot of women who are raised with the same narrative of we don't need no man, you know, we're the best, men are just this, and we can't stand no man, ain't no good men around here, ain't no good men that exist, like to take the good and find fault with it because they're not used to it. Because they never experienced it, they never had that. They don't understand the value in it because it's something that they've again never experienced <laughs> all right all right so if you went by the schoolhouse you understand math you understand statistics you understand grades you understand all of this and if you're going to put your money into something and risk don't you think you should know or understand the market you're getting into, the chances of it being successful? Or do you live your life just saying, I'm going to just try whatever. I'm going to do whatever. And it's all based on me. I mean, I like the second part. I mean, I, I just... Mm, it's okay. If it's all based on you, then if it's all based on you, then how do you deal with this? Rental car industry has ground to a halt. This is what it means for automakers and car buyers. The rental car industry is the business she was in. You know, CNN, Business Insider. Uh, yeah, just like the just like what I told her. Uh, all you need is a second round of Corona to shut your business down. So, what does you have to do with a coronavirus in an industry that's ground to a halt? What can you, an individual, do about an industry that's what's dying? Hmm? Excuse me. Positive in your own. Stay positive. They're Thank, this is this is the issue. This is why women are necessary and men are necessary, right? This is why it's vital. Because as a woman, being optimistic, I feel like is a part of like a woman's makeup. I'm not saying that men are not, but I'm saying women. Like we're really like naturally like optimistic. That's why Disney movies were so successful, those lifetime movies, romantic comedies, because we're very like, you know, um, airy and like loving and like oh yes we just expect the best and we have the ability to you know put our faith into things that's why churches are filled with women mostly we're very that right but men are logical thinkers so it's great that you are putting it all into it it's great that you are staying optimistic it's great that you are you know feeling like you can conquer it all and you can do it all that's amazing but what is necessary is to make sure that you're not putting your efforts into something that is not solid ground. To make sure that the foundation isn't shaky. That's vital. That's vital. Because you can have the, the faith, you can have the optimism, you can have the work ethic, you can, you know, be gung-ho on something. It does all of that, those things that you have, all those qualities that you have, does not mean that it's going to be successful it does not mean it's going to work that's just reality that's just reality that's not even you know a joke <laughs> that's why there's shows like shark tank for example right that you go on there and it doesn't mean that they're always right 
but they're saying, okay, based off of you not knowing this, based off of you not knowing that, based off of you not knowing what can um, you know, affect your business positively or negatively, you're not ready for this. Some people still go off, they figure it out, they do the research based off of their knowledge that they have, and then they become successful. Sometimes they tell people, hey, this is an oversaturated business. It's not going to work. And guess what? Sometimes they are right. It doesn't work. But you need that logical thinking. You cannot always be, you know, just faith driven and hope it out and work it out and, and, you know, want it out, but not know all the matters at hand. You know how they say faith without works is dead? A part of the work is finding out all the numbers, the data, all the knowledge about whatever entity it is that you are venturing off into. But I'm going to stop the, the video here. If you guys want to see the full video, it's going to be in the description box and in the comment section. It's going to be pinned to the top. Guys, this, this, this is a lot. But I think, again, this is very telling of what we're surrounded by, right? Like the women that we're surrounded by, the mentality of a lot of modern women who just feel like they just deserve all these things and they know it all. And in actuality, it's more of a case of just not being experienced in working with a man at all because they haven't seen it. Maybe they haven't seen anybody else do it or the things that they've seen around them have not been successful. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.